Hello, everybody, and welcome into This Week in Central Alabama. Brett Pritchard and Randy Lee here with you, filling you in on all the happenings here throughout Central Alabama, and it's good to have all of you join us uh, today, and uh, we'll get things kicked off. Again, a little bit of an update on COVID-19 to th start things off. Vaccines are, are starting to get out in these communities, but kind of disheartening this past week to see that uh, Alabama falls into uh, the, the bottom – bottom seller of bottom seller i mean the seller we are the seller 51 out of 50 uh as far as including the uh, district of columbia in getting vaccinations out to the public that's just not where you want to be i mean unless someone out there with a reasonable excuse can come up with another one for the state of alabama for being dead last in another one of these polls then uh, i can't come up with one it's uh ridiculous but i, I guess we're just supposed to have um an excuse built into all of us that it's okay am i wrong for saying that no. i know i know we're on a program here where we try to stay a little bit positive but i well, i'm I think sick of being of people, positive on these things. i think there's a lot of people that are concerned for their family and they have been yeah i'm not saying they just started to become concerned uh Everybody's been concerned since day one when this thing hit and trying to do whatever they can to keep their family safe. But you've got vaccinations coming out and vaccines available and not being able to get those out to people uh, really makes no sense. Now, I, I did talk to somebody yesterday that said uh, the state of Alabama was concerned about the second shot because it you've got to have both shots and having enough – and, and figuring out how you're going to divvy those out uh, to make sure if you don't get another batch of vaccines coming in that you have enough to give the second shot to the people that took the first one. So uh, you there are a lot of elements that go into that, but you still don't like to look down at a list and be 51 out of 50 states, including the District of Columbia. That, that just really is not uh, where you want to be in anything uh, as far as from a positive standpoint. Hopefully they'll get a, they'll get a grip on this and they'll start to uh, get these out and uh, the 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 supply of vaccines will continue to come here in this state. Yeah, we're going to need them and uh, you know we'll talk about that coming up. That uh, website coming out in February where you can have everything set up here in the state and we'll talk about that, Brett. But um, we'll pass along on all of our programming here anything that we hear because you know I'm one of those with. Uh, parents that are 65 plus and you are as well sure. you got a father that's 75 plus and that's already had the vaccine uh, but there's a number of us in our generation that yeah i'd like to have it myself but i'm a lot more concerned for my parents to get it okay. than i am for myself and anything that quickens what we're doing on that front i think is what many in the state of alabama would like to see happen that's right uh montgomery schools uh, a lot of schools being affected and going to virtual, coming back to school. Uh, Montgomery schools moved to all virtual learning uh, as COVID-19 continues to impact uh, that system. And this is just one, we, we, we talk about school system. We know Alexander City just went to a two week at home. Uh, they'll reevaluate February 1st to see if they'll go back to class. You're just trying to, to, to make decisions as you go there there is no blueprint for this thing and you want to do the best for everybody involved uh if you feel like the the covid uh spikes are uh or are, are too much in your area maybe it's best to make that decision to send everybody home uh montgomery having to go through that they will again return to virtual learning um uh, and, and that that's what a lot of superintendents and boards are being faced with right yeah, now. Yeah, expected that coming out of the city of Montgomery. They've had a tough week or two. Um, I think five deaths. They have. Uh, when, when it comes to administration and coaches and teachers from that area. And you had to expect with those five deaths, and many of those aren't elderly deaths. These are 40- and 50-year-olds that are passing away from it. And unfortunately, um, on this second wave, uh, coming into the first part of this year, that's what we're hearing more of, Brett, that it's younger people, not just 70 and above or 80 and above, that you're starting to hear more of the 50, 40 and 50-year-old 50 generation struggling with it. And so um, our thoughts and prayers go out to that community because you know it's tough. Yeah. They said to go back February 1 to, to virtual learning. Uh, that is uh, Montgomery Public Schools suffering their seventh staff uh, death in two months. Um, and so – 
it, it has hit that community extremely hard. You got to do uh, what you've got to do to to keep everybody safe and what's in the best interest. Uh, Montgomery Public Schools reported 80 confirmed COVID-19 cases just this past week. That's up from 69 the week prior. They have 4,500 um uh, as far as employees in that system uh, to go along with 28,000 plus students. So uh, it, it, that's like a small city, as you, as you see, uh, that was quoted here uh, in, in, the, in the article from uh, Superintendent uh, Ann Roy uh, Moore uh, that, that you know, you're dealing with a small community in itself with a school system that big. So you got to do the best you can, and, and, and hopefully this thing uh, will work its way on out. Uh, some more Montgomery news kind of on another level. Uh, Whataburger, you know, we don't normally talk about fast food change, but Whataburger to open four Montgomery area locations. Uh, that's a big deal, and, and Montgomery uh, gaining four Whataburger locations at one time. Yeah, and I think these will be corporate-owned, and so um, the corporate-owned ones, if you read into this a little bit more, are um, a lot more sustainable. Sure. And so I think that the city of Montgomery has had two of these before, and they weren't successful, and now coming back with four more. So um, congratulations well, to all of our communities out there during this coronavirus pandemic for having any growth whatsoever or holding on whatsoever in, in this tough, tough economic Well, I time. think people need to understand that this is just not about four Whataburgers. This is the kind of stuff uh, that you need to understand that comes with a place like a Whataburger coming in. Each restaurant will employ 125 people, uh, and uh, the managers can make up to $65,000 a year. So – good high paying jobs for managerial positions and and employment to a lot of people coming in here so uh over 500 people uh will be benefiting from a job opportunity i mentioned this a little bit earlier and we'll go back to this now eligible alabamians hoping to make an online appointment for covid 19 vaccination will have to wait until february uh dr karen landers with the alabama department of public health confirmed al.com that online scheduling will launch in february if not before so there's you know i heard the phone lines were overwhelmed with the opening of the vaccination here in this Over state. Over a million in the first day. And trying to, to at least get some news on how and where and when this will happen. Well, it sounds like we'll have a website up soon that will at least give you somewhere to go and somewhere to register to get the vaccination. And I think that's huge. And, uh, again, everybody's trying to, uh, to get uh, this vaccine that wants it. And I think the state's trying to do all they can uh, to make sure it's administered to, to all the locations. Uh, from a national perspective, uh, President Biden in his first full week as president of the United States, been very busy signing 19 executive orders, a lot uh, of those orders reversing things that, that President Donald Trump, uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, put in his put into play in his four years as president. Uh, a lot of people out there concerned about the next round of stimulus checks that will be coming out. That seems to be on a fast pace and a, uh, a quick move through uh, both both chambers, uh, through the House and through the Senate, uh, for approval to, to add that $1,400 check on top of the $600 check that just recently went out. Uh, also, uh, there's a push uh, to uh, amend uh, the child tax credit uh, for uh, – up to at least a year where uh, any child under the age of six, you get $300 per month uh, directly deposited in your bank account, and any child over the age of six up until age 17 get $250 into their bank, into, into that family's bank account. So I know there's a lot of a lot of pushback from from different people in different areas, and there's a lot of proponents for it. So this is a uh, a back and forth fight in Washington right now. Another good piece of business news in our region as well is uh, I don't know if you have you been to a Bucky's? I have not. I've been past a couple of them, and they look cool, man. I we my wife and I stopped into one down in Gulf Shores. Um, within the last year and i thought i was going into an alternate universe i really did i i couldn't believe the amount of traffic Huge. and the people in and out and but leeds the community of leeds right. is getting one and uh, congratulations to leeds um the one that i've been to was just swamped under all kind of stuff in there. yeah it's it's <laughs> it's like a convenience store theme park I don't know how that, else to explain. That's a pretty it. good explanation um, or description. It's it's, it's wild, um, but should bring a lot of needed 
um, tax dollars to that community and Leeds really doing well picking up another big store like this. Yeah, uh, the Leeds store as of Friday had already hired 200 and 81 employees. Think about that. That tells yeah. you the extensiveness of, of that that uh, that building and uh, occupying 53,250 square feet uh, with 120 fueling spots. It it's a it's a convenient store on steroids, um, and it's a unique offering, uh, including Texas barbecue, homemade fudge, uh, beaver nuggets, jerky, fresh pastries, all kind of different stuff. So uh, they are intriguing. You see them and. Uh, the they're just enormous. The size of it kind of takes you back, and then you pull in, and like you said, uh, I haven't actually physically been in one, but seen pictures and seen videos, and that's a that's a big economic boost to Leeds. Yeah, big win out there, and uh, any of us that have been involved in trying to recruit different retailers or others to a community knows what kind of win this was because this is one of those entities that's growing by leaps and bounds you got to know everybody wanted one. And for Leeds to win that, saying something about their leadership and their community. No doubt about it. That's some happenings going on around uh, the central part of Alabama. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll dive into some sports. Stay tuned. More of This Week in Central Alabama right after this. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SMS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. Hi, my name is Jasmine Hopper. I listed my homes with Rhonda Gaskin at Century 21 Lake Area Realty. It was quick, easy, and stress-free. Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Remember, buy or sell your home with me. Get to use my truck for free. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, Sign Source has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com, 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source, Sign Source. Hey Realtors, do you know about LMG Ad Agency? We build your brand and help sell your properties or a unique lifestyle so you can focus on your clients. We focus on professional photos, videos, aerial photography and videography, and commercial real estate. We'd love to tell your story. Contact us today at 256-392-4250 or visit our website at lmgadagency.com. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SMS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. Well, it started as a hobby, embroidery, and I loved it so much that we bought a bigger machine, a commercial machine, and then I decided that um, I would be happy doing something like that for an, on an everyday basis. So we got into market shops across the street on a really small basis, and it just got bigger and bigger, and then we decided we needed our own place. She started out doing embroidery in our dining room and decided that 
needed more room. So we've just grown a little bit over the last uh, three years now. Well, I had been in banking for over 20 years and was just very unhappy with it. It wasn't fulfilling. It wasn't uh, something I wanted to get up and go do every day. So it kind of happened by accident when we got the embroidery machine and I loved it so much and then I just started thinking, you know, we could probably do this on a, you know, for a living. Um, but I grew up in Wetumpka and uh, when I met Patrick, he was living in Auburn and I moved to Auburn and our eventual goal was to get back to Wetumpka, so this is part of that goal. Well, it's a, such a small town and everybody is just so friendly and I, I my family is here and I've enjoyed watching the city grow. When I was a teenager, this was a ghost town. So this was, you know, really exciting for me to see all of these businesses popping open and seeing some traffic down here and a nightlife and a day life and a, you know, it's just been really, really fun to watch. Well, I, I actually grew up in Millbrook. Um, and so I went to church in Slap Out and then, you know, after church, there was nowhere to eat in Slap Out. So Wetumpka was our closest place to come as teenagers to find something to do. And even back then, there wasn't a whole lot to do. And then over the years, Wetumpka, I won't say it died, but it just kind of died out some of the downtown area. People moved out into, you know, strip malls and such. And so I always loved coming to Wetumpka when I was in my teens, but um, coming back here and being a part of kind of revitalizing the downtown area, that's been what's, I think, what we have enjoyed the most is not only just starting our own business, but looking around at all the other small businesses that are popping up and coming back into the downtown area, and we get to be a part of that too. So it, it kind of brings back the town that we both came to when we were in our teens. A lot of things went into that decision, um, where we wanted to build our forever home and things like that, and family matters, and um, but but yeah, we, we both love Wetumpka. We both work here, we, we love coming every day, we want to, Moved from Auburn and moved totally into Wetumpka, so we're here all the time and we just enjoy it. And Main Street Wetumpka and the Chamber have played such a big part and so helpful for everybody in this town, I think, to, to be able to succeed and grow and it's, it's just a good community. I have been really busy here, so I haven't been able to volunteer and get on any committees or anything like that, but I know that um, Shelley with the Chamber is always trying to think of things to, to bring people to Wetumpka. Main Street, Jenny Stubbs, she's the same way. They are always putting their heads together and um, meeting about what we can do next. And, you know, they're just, they're part of the reason we succeed and I appreciate them. They kind of bring the businesses together. Um, there are several boutiques downtown. The small town businesses, uh, the small businesses downtown, we don't really look at each other as competition. We kind of work together and work for each other. We we send customers to the market shops and to to um, Cusabel and to the vault, and they send customers to us when they don't have what their customers are looking for. Uh, Main Street Wetumpka does a lot of events, um, working with the chamber. They had a big Dickens Christmas last year that just had all the shop owners dressed up in. Uh, Charles Dickens era uh, costumes for Christmas. They had Christmas trees out in front of every business. And we had hundreds of people come through over that, I think, four days. And it was really neat to see all of the local Wetumpka townspeople walking around down here going, wow, we didn't know this was all here. Yeah, so many people were like, who knew? Like, we did, we yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Main Street, we talk in the chamber, plan events like that. They've got one coming up this Christmas. The same thing that is, is designed to draw people into the downtown area and see what's down here that, that maybe they didn't know because they haven't been down here in a while. Well, like I said, I started at Market Shops in their little storage area in the back. And um, I grew from that and wanted to get my own place because I was, had plenty of business coming in. And um, it j just, and I've seen another business do the same thing, Heather Terrell, that is in with us. I mean, she has moved from a small area in market shops to a big booming building of her own, you know, so to speak. So it just, everybody helping everybody. And I mean, I just love, love seeing it grow like it is. Well, yeah, we do two separate things. I mean, she's good at um, boutique clothing and, and knowing what people want to wear. And 
Um, she also does sublimation, which is different than the craft I do. So, you know, we help each other out. If, if a customer comes in and wants something she does, then I, you know, send them her way. And if a customer comes in and wants some vinyl, you know, I handle that myself. But we do work together. She works here and I work here. And sometimes we're one here and the other one's gone. So, you know, we have to trust each other and depend on each other. And I mean, it's a, it's a good relationship. And, you know, I, and I didn't think anything about it. We didn't look at it as competition, cutthroat type thing. We looked at it as, hey, if we have more stuff in here, more people will come. Well, I guess the easiest thing is I, I don't know how it would be any other way. This is the only business I've ever been involved in in retail. Um, and so uh, this is the only thing I know. Um, when we got to the point in this store where we decided to expand into the other portion that faced uh, Company Street, uh, we ha we were going to go to almost double the space. Well, you have to look at doubling your inventory and trying to find more inventory that, that would make people want to come into your store. And she already had a relationship with Heather from um, working together at the market shops that she it just made sense to say, well, you know what, we need something new in here to bring new people in. And Heather was looking for a space. And so it really kind of just happened naturally that the two of them said, hey, this would be great if we partnered up together and shared some space. Um, helps us on rent. It helped her on her rent to be able to move into a little bit bigger space without taking a huge commitment of her own. And so working together, I think, is going to build both our businesses. My goal is to have a nightlife shopping experience in Wetumpka. I would love to stay open later in the evening so that the people that are down here eating can also say, hey, I'm going to run in and get whatever, a gift for Lucy, and um, we have classes on different nights of the week for vinyl, teaching, teaching people how to use their cutting machines. So when we have classes, we stay open, and we got a lot of people in last week that were over at Coosa Cleaver, which is a great restaurant, by the way. Um, they came over here and were like, hey, y'all are open? I'm like, yeah, we're having a class. And they're like, this is amazing. And then I had another friend that was eating at the Coosa Cleaver upstairs, and he said all the buzz up there was, look, they're open, they're open, they're open. So I would love to see a lot of places stay open at least a couple nights a week where people just know, oh, it's Thursday night, we Tumka's open, let's go down, you know, type of thing. Back in high school, I know, that, Lord, that was years ago, <laughs> I'm not going to say how long, um, but I had always just wanted to do that. I loved clothes. I loved fashion. It was just my thing. And um, it was always the one thing that I got compliments on was my clothing. And so actually in 2016, I was in college and my now husband got me a cricket machine. So I started making t-shirts. So it started out with t-shirts and it progressed to clothing. And I started out over at market shops, just like Rhonda did, and um, started out in the very back, um, just a very small space. It was dark, you couldn't really see it. And then we expanded to the front. And then in 2019, we started the whole boutique. Um, I'd done the boutique online for a year and a half, I believe. And it was doing really well. And then um, we decided to bring it to a storefront. And it just blew up. It was amazing and wonderful. And then I love the flexibility of being able to own my own business and not be under somebody. Um, and so when the opportunity came to move over here with Rhonda, I was like, that's, that's exactly what I want to do. So we work together and it's great. Just us knowing each other, we had already built that friendship. So when we came over here together, we just, we know what each other carries. We know how to handle our customers. Um, and it just worked out perfectly. Well, I'm actually not from here. I moved here in 2017 and um, we actually lived downtown. And I knew when we started living downtown that I wanted my business down here. Didn't matter if it was in market shops, if it was by myself, I knew I wanted it down here because I could see the increase in traffic. I could see everyone working together. I could see all the events that were going on. Um, there was always something. And, you know, to have been in a town that cares about their 
um, people and cares about their businesses is really hard to find, um, especially from the chamber. And we now have the Main Street with Humpka. I mean, that's hard to find because mm -hmm. um, where I'm from, there's not that. So when we moved here, it was just amazing to see everything that they did. Mainly it's because the, the, the chamber and the government actually cares. Um, they, they want the businesses to succeed. They want us to all work together. And we all do, like um, the Yellow Daffodil and I carry some of the same brands. We'll, we'll reach out to each other and be like, hey, you don't have this one, do you? To be sure that, you know, there is a variety downtown because there are a lot of boutiques and so you know we hear all the time there's a bunch of boutiques downtown and you know why would you open another one well there's different variety and everyone likes different things so but I really think the big thing of wanting to have a business in downtown Wetumpka is because you actually feel cared about it makes everything so much easier to not come in here and be like okay I've got to sell more than Rhonda today like that's not what we come in here to look at. We help each other. Um, when the customers come in and they're looking at her stuff, I know what to tell them. She knows what to tell them about mine. You know, it, it makes it so much easier when you have a good relationship and a good relationship with other businesses as well. I think that would be wonderful to get it going because a lot of people after work, like we close at six, well, a lot of people want to go out and do things after supper. Um, and they want to cook at home, but they also want to be able to come out and do things later. So I think that would be a wonderful experience for the community. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SNS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, Sign Source has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma. All with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com. 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source. Sign Source. Hi, my name is Jasmine Hopper. I list in my homes with Rhonda Gaskin at Century 21 Lake Area Realty. It was quick, easy, and stress-free. Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Remember, buy or sell your home with me. Get to use my truck for free. Hey Realtors, do you know about LMG Ad Agency? We build your brand and help sell your properties or a unique lifestyle so you can focus on your clients. We focus on professional photos, videos, aerial photography and videography, and commercial real estate. We'd love to tell your story. Contact us today at 256-392-4250 or visit our website at lmgadagency.com. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. My background, I, uh, I got my start in grocery and I've kind of skirted several different types of occupations. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I got into the corporate RV field and I tried my hand at staying in that for a good bit and one day we had a really bad cup of coffee. Actually, me and my other partners worked in the same business together and we were drinking it we decided that we could make a better cup and so that's what we did. We bought green beans and an air popcorn popper from Amazon, and that was our first foray. 
it became kind of a work of passion at first. It was, you know, grab the beans and roast them and, and see how it came out flavor-wise. And once we discovered that it was something that was enjoyable, we figured that we could make money doing something we enjoyed. And so we, you know, we chased the American dream. We all quit our jobs and started working on it. We selected downtown Calera because I grew up in Jemison, so I was just a, a little distance away from here. Uh, and I, I drove through here all the time with my grandmother. She was a, an insurance agent, so I got to enjoy downtown Calera as I grew up. And it, you know, it kind of aged with time. There used to be a whole lot more to do down here, even when I was just a kid. And so as it kind of spaced out, we wanted to be someplace that was old and that had character and that wasn't a whole bunch of cookie cutter stores, you know, just where you can go anywhere. It was perfect, you know, and, and we wanted to find something down here and we shopped around for a little bit and even looked at a couple other places, but Calera was where we really wanted to be. Well, when we first came down here, we knew that it would be, we knew that it would be a viable, at least, chance, because that's what it is. It's, it's always a roll of the dice with the business anyway. You know, even if we had been down in, in Main Town or in Alabaster or downtown Birmingham, there's competition. And, and at the time, there was definitely no competition down here. You know, it was nothing but us, you know, us and the wind and the trucks. And <laughs> we went to a few city council meetings to start sitting through and kind of start to, to meet people and introduce us. and you know, put our face out there so that people knew who we were and what we were doing. And probably two weeks into our actual sitting in down here and making a decision that we were going to be in Calera for sure, one way or another, they admit, they said that they were going to start attending the Main Street meetings to try to become a designated city for Main Street. There was no certainty in that whatsoever, but knowing that the chance was there, we went ahead and said, okay, you know, let's finalize this deal. Let's find some place to open quicker rather than, you know, sooner rather than later. I think that coffee shops are the heart of the downtown areas because it gives you a place to socialize first and foremost. You know, I mean, we are who we are because of the people that we're around. You know, they, they change us and they make us be better or sometimes worse. But, you know, coffee shops give you a solid foundation where you can meet, you can meet new people, you can meet old friends, you know, you can get together and, and have a cup or you can study, you can read, you can, you can do just about anything in a coffee shop that you can do at home and that's kind of what it is. It's an extension of home. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SNS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. Hi, my name is Jasmine Hopper. I listed my homes with Rhonda Gaskin at Century 21 Lake Area Realty. It was quick, easy, and stress-free. Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Remember, buy or sell your home with me. Get to use my truck for free. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, Sign Source has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com, 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source, Sign Source. Hey Realtors, do you know about LMG Ad Agency? We build your brand and help sell your properties or a unique lifestyle so you can focus on your clients. We focus on professional photos, videos, aerial photography and videography, and commercial real estate. We'd love to tell your story. Contact us today at 256-392-4250 or visit our website at lmgadagency.com. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SNS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations.
Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. Welcome back, everyone, to This Week in Central Alabama. Again, we want to remind everybody you can follow us out there on Facebook at Central Alabama Voice. Uh, we appreciate all of you that have already followed us and uh, comment and participate in the things and interact with us on social media, but we encourage you to spread the word, and uh, we want to promote uh, what a great part of this state we have here in Central Alabama. Uh, over on the sports side, everything's coming down to terms. Uh, with AHSA, as far as basketball, as far as wrestling, for is your winter sports are coming to a close. Your spring sports are about to get revved up. They're already practicing for baseball and softball and tennis and golf and uh, soccer. All of those sports are, are just about to get underway. Uh, but basketball, a month away, Randy will be in Birmingham for the uh, the finals, and there'll be two locations this time. And we'll talk more about that over the next several weeks as we get closer uh, to that. But uh, it's going to be a unique situation, just like everything else has been over the last year uh, with COVID-19, playing in two locations for three days. Now, um, for, for most of the tournament, we'll be in one location, but there will be three days where – uh, we're at two different locations in Birmingham, and it will not be at uh, the, uh, uh, the the Civic Center this year at uh, Legacy, uh, Arena. Legacy Arena. It will not be there uh, at BJCC and Legacy Arena for the first time in forever uh, because of renovations and things they're doing to that arena. Uh, COVID-19 hits is probably the – I hate to say it, it's – Probably perfect timing if you're going to do something like that. But uh, still going to move forward and crown uh, boys and girls champions in seven classifications here in just a few weeks. Yeah, we enjoy going over to the city of Birmingham and having the opportunity with AHSA Radio Network to broadcast those games. It'll be mine in your 13th uh, championship event, I believe, uh, calling that. And uh, we've seen some great talent. I wanted to spotlight a few of those in our region uh, that have had some superlatives sure. happen this past week. And I'll start right here with the team that we have seen maybe as much as anyone. That's midfield. Midfield's had a tremendous run in high school basketball in this state. Jamarcus Alexander helped the Class 2A Patriots, who's 15 and 6, to two wins with 21 points, 15 rebounds, and seven steals, and a big win over Carver of Birmingham, and then 20 points, 11 steals as they took down Altamont, 91 to 30. His 11 steals. Uh, really one of those spotlights that we'll talk about this past week. So congratulations to Jamarcus Alexander. Wynn Miller from Vestavia Hills High School scored 27 points to lead the Rebels, who are now 20-2 and two on the season. Past Spain Park, 64-63. to 63. Host Vestavia Hills fell behind 13 to nothing, but rebounded to claim its seventh victory in a row. Miller also scored 21 in the Rebels, 85 to 40 victory wow. over Gadsden City. Uh, Vestavia won a state championship about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. If you remember, this is one of those teams they seem to have. They ride a roller coaster. But when they have an up year in basketball, it can be really, really strong. It seems like Best Davy has got that going now. They're twenty and two right now, and uh, look like they are um, trying to uh, punch their ticket to get to Birmingham. Already there, just trying to get over there across the city to to play for a championship. Uh, J. C. Curtis from Calhoun. That that team's already loaded. One of the best prospects in the country in J. D. Davidson. But uh, Curtis kind of outperformed his teammate uh, at twenty one points and eighteen rebounds. Davidson had 19 and 11 uh, in their win over Tallahassee, 70 to 55. So they've got a really good team. That team won the state championship last year. Uh, J.D. Davidson hit a hit a pretty big shot in that game to to win it, and uh, they they look like they they'll challenge again. Prattville Christian's Jacob Comer had 29 points and five assists as the Panthers beat Montgomery Academy uh, 58 to 42 this past week. That's just some of the many spotlights that yeah. we had in basketball here in the Central Alabama region, and uh, we'll continue as we're moving into championship events that we'll pass along uh, the superlatives that we see because we'll have a lot of them coming out of our area. Brett. No doubt about it. We'll slide over and talk some wrestling as uh, wrestling duels come to 
a close. And um, in, in the dual championships in Class 7A, it was uh, Thompson defeating Vestavia Hills 33-25. Uh, to 25. In Classes 5A and 6A, it was Gardendale uh, really putting Wetumpka away uh, in, in dominating fashion, 38-19. to 19. And then the 1A through 4A classification, it was Cleburne County over Asheville, 43-34. to 34. So Thompson continues to roll in 7A, but you've got two powerhouses right there in that classification, Thompson, Vestavia, that are always there in 7A. Yeah, and Vestavia has won their fair share of the duels championships, and I think that they have the state record for uh, championships, the old school team way that we've seen. Um, so Vestavia has always been strong. But what Thompson's been able to put together on the wrestling mat for the last decade, second to none, they've won eight state championships, and I think this is their third dual championship in a row. So uh, congratulations to that school. I don't know if you saw the video from Cleburne County winning the state championship. Yeah. Man, if it doesn't get you in your feels about high school sports and how passionate and how important it, it can be for communities like Cleburne County. Uh, you need to go out there and find it. Yeah, it's pretty impressive and uh, tells you what high school athletics means to all these communities throughout the state of Alabama. I want to go back over and, and talk just a second about some of the new sports that are out there for the HSA for, for student athletes to compete in. Uh, you know, we've got all of our normal sports, but, you know, fishing's kind of risen to the top of the uh, to the map here in the last few years, and now bowling. Uh, bowling championships going on, uh, regional bowling championships going on, and uh, I think it's cool to see that the HSA – it's continue to expand their offerings. You know, we see gaming out there now, uh, virtual sports, EA sports uh, uh, that, that are going on. And uh, there's a niche for everybody. There's no excuse for you not to find something that you can – uh, that you can get involved in that you like to do as far as participation at your at your schools. And I think it's cool to see uh, some of these scores and what some of these schools are doing as far as uh, uh, in the bowling arena and in fishing and, and gaming and everything. It gives everybody an opportunity to well, be Well, it gives you active. an opportunity to be involved. And uh, if you're reading into any of the negative news that you're seeing coming out with uh, schools closing and the impact that it's having on our students and our kids and uh, kids all the way down into elementary schools Brett really struggling with this and uh, uh, to have something that you can kind of embrace and be a part of and be a part of a group and be a part of something that's special for a community is important and so I do uh, tip my hat to the HSA and tip my hat to high school sports all throughout the country that they keep giving these offerings because I think they're very important I don't know about you but they've always been very important to me and my family well no doubt I mean everybody can't play football and baseball and basketball and there's there's so many offerings out there that uh, for both girls and boys that you can participate in and uh, I love it the more the merrier and uh, gives everybody an opportunity to be active that's going to wrap it up for uh, this week in Central Alabama. Again, we want to remind everybody to follow us and, and like our stuff out there on social media. It's uh, The Voice, Central Alabama Voice, and we, we can't thank all of you enough for promoting us and helping us get the word out. In turn, that's our goal here. We want to promote uh, Central Alabama and everything that goes on uh, here in the central part of Alabama. For Andy Lee, I'm Brett Pritchard saying we've enjoyed it. We'll you. see you next week. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SNS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings, to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. Hi, my name is Jasmine Hopper. I listed my homes with Rhonda Gaskin at Century 21 Lake Area Realty. It was quick, easy, and stress-free. Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. 
call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Remember, buy or sell your home with me, get to use my truck for free. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, SignSource has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com, 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source, SignSource. Wetumpka Depot Players are a thriving community theater here in the River Region. We're celebrating our 40th season this year in 2020, and that's 40 great years of amazing entertainment, educational opportunities, and program activities here in our community. Our community theater reaches out to people of all ages. We have adults who are volunteers and artists with us. We have a really healthy, uh, uh, relationship with our school programs. So we have school children of all ages that are involved with us. We even have a senior theater outreach for folks who are senior citizens who might want to still be involved in theater. Well, we, like I said, we have a 40 year history of amazing plays, musicals, dramas on our stage. It would be so difficult to narrow it down to one favorite play, but I think our musicals are just beloved. Big River comes to mind. It had really great country music and a really great theme. Second Samuel is another play that comes to mind that actually Second Samuel and another play called The Diviners were plays that we took to national competitions. So not not only were the plays well executed, but they were also beloved by our community. Depot players have been in existence for 40 years. Now you're in the location here at 300 South Main Street, which was actually an old grocery store that we renovated about 25 years ago to be in this space and serve our needs. Originally, we started over behind the Methodist Church in the old train depot, hence that's how we got our name, the Wetumpka Depot Players. Well, 2020 has certainly presented challenges to everyone universally. And this was supposed to be a very special season for the Depot players because it was going to be our 40th anniversary season. And we had a really spectacular season of plays and musicals selected. Of course, we had to modify all that. We had to cancel our regular season. But despite the challenges of COVID, we still have persevered and we have come up with some really unique and modified programs that have kind of kept us going, kept us out in front of our patrons. So we've done children's virtual programming to keep our kids kids involved. We did some innovative programs where we did parking lot radio theater. So on Halloween night, we did the War of the Worlds, but we did that outside in a safe environment. We've written some uh, special projects this year. One project called Elvis Sightings was written by one of our volunteers, Kim Mason, and that actually turned out to be a little rotation theater experience in downtown Wetumpka, which is looking so beautiful, by the way. And uh, we're also, I also wrote a play this year called A Storm Came Up, which was adapted from a friend of mine's book, Doug Seacrest's book of the same book of the same title. And that book, that play has been adapted this year and will probably hit our stage next year. So some of the challenges of 2020 have provided us an opportunity to do some new and innovative things. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. From checking to business accounts, to share savings to club accounts, to their kids club and investments, visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years, federally insured by NCUA. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SMS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. 
So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, Sign Source has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. Check out our website at signsourcenow.com, 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source, Sign Source. Hi, my name is Jasmine Hopper. I list in my homes with Rhonda Gaskin at Century 21 Lake Area Realty. It was quick, easy, and stress-free. Hi, I'm Rhonda Gaskins, broker Century 21 Lake Area Realty in the Lake Martin area. We are getting a 96% return on our listing price, the sales price in this area. Call me today and let me go to work for you. 256-749-3644. Remember, buy or sell your home with me. Get to use my truck for free. Hey Realtors, do you know about LMG Ad Agency? We build your brand and help sell your properties or a unique lifestyle so you can focus on your clients. We focus on professional photos, videos, aerial photography and videography, and commercial real estate. We'd love to tell your story. Contact us today at 256-392-4250 or visit our website at lmgadagency.com. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SMS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. Staffing is a temporary staffing agency. Uh, we are unique in what we do because with our customers, we build relationships. We are their partner. We are that company that they depend on to get those employees out on the production line. We've been in business for years. We've been here in Alexander City for 17 years um, and have several companies that we have built that relationship with as their partner. There are many benefits to using staffing agencies. Right now, the companies coming back from COVID are so busy dealing with making sure their parts are there. They can come to us. That is what we do. We are the professional. We recruit, we interview, we screen, um, so that therefore when we send out that individual to go to work, um, all that is done for the HR person there at the plant. Um, they don't have to deal with that. They have so many things nowadays that they have to deal with. Um, but that is what we do. That is what we do all day long. Hiring, interviewing, determining what is the best candidate to send out to our customers. We have, um, it's tough now. We are basically competing with uh, people that are getting paid to stay home. So we have to show them that we have great opportunities for them to find their next career. Uh, we, our recruiters now are our biggest job we have in our company. We're typically, in our company, our sales people have the hardest biggest job. Uh, but, but since COVID, our recruiters have a very tough job. We provide um, quality employees to companies. Uh, they do not have to worry about the interviewing. That's what we do. That's what my recruiters do all day long. Uh, recruiting, calling people in, going through Indeed, going through Zip Recruiter, Career Builder, any all the tools that we provide for them to call in applicants, interview, and determine if they are a perfect fit for our customers. So, therefore, when they call in to us and they need 10 people tomorrow, then my recruiters already have 10 people ready to go. So it takes that burden off of them. It's gotten better. I would say in the past month, um, we have seen an increase of people coming back, um, ready to go to work. I don't know if that's because Christmas is coming up or if it's just their, you know, unemployment's ran out, they got to come back to work. Um, but yes, we have seen an increase here lately in, in candidates coming in. We have been, we have just had an increase in our business since COVID. Um, I went back and pulled some statistics I'd like to share with you. Um, 
overall, um, CEO Magazine has said that the staffing business is going down from $156 billion in 2019 to $119 billion in 2020, which is about a 21% um, down, yeah. being down that much. However, at Onan, uh, my territory, uh, since I went back and looked at my numbers um, pre-COVID, uh, up until this point, um, and in my ter just in my region, we're up 63% at Onan. Our company overall average uh, is up 52%. Uh, so I think that our future is very bright. We have a goal that in 2023 um, that we'll be a billion dollar company. We are about 70% there. And I feel like that my region and company wide that we have the right team um, to guide us and lead us into being a billion dollar company in 2023. I do want to add something that our company does uh, for our teammates. We believe in our teammates. We want to take care of them because without them, we would not be here. Um, and we offer benefits and we offer usable benefits. We provide our teammates with health insurance. Um, their health insurance costs them $17.85 a week if they're doing single coverage. That means that they get to go and have prescriptions filled for $5. They go to the doctor for $5. They go to, they can call the teledoc that morning, they wake up not feeling good, call that teledoc, and they have a prescription at the pharmacy ready to be picked up, and it does not cost them a dime. Wow. I want to give you some statistics from what we have gathered just recently on how much our teammates have used those. Yeah. It also includes eye, uh, uh, vision, and dental. So we pulled some statistics not long ago, and this year we have had over 500 teammates go and have teeth cleanings and oral examinations. And guess what? Some of them for the first time. This year we've had 252 vision exams that have led to 228 pairs of glasses for our teammates. We have had 5,474 primary care specialist or urgent care visits this year so far. That's why I say on and offers usable insurance. Our teammates are using it. In my area, I have about 75% uh, um, participation from our teammates and we started open enrollment on Monday, so we certainly hope to see an increase. We're getting more information out there to them, making them more aware of you know, the great benefits of our, of our benefit program. We work with school children. Um, if they're teenagers, 16 and above, um, we've had several kids we put to work on part-time jobs. However, they have to have the, inf the information signed off from their school. Gotcha. So we can do that. We've done that a lot, especially here in Alexander City for different events and stuff like that. Um, and at 18, if they want to come in and go to work and start their career with us, please come. Uh, there is no age limit. Um, you know, we do some security guard positions, excellent for those that are retired. Um, so no, there is no age limit. They go do a work assignment for us and they've been there six months and they've been a great employee. Um, and you know, attendance was great, production, attitude, all those things. Then they're on the next job we have open because there is always employers, especially now since COVID, that need those kind of quality people. At Tire Pros, we have a hassle-free pledge. It's our promise to make your auto service and tire buying experience simple, straightforward, and hassle-free. For service you can trust without the hassle, visit SNS Discount Tire Pros, two convenient locations. So you may not know it, but you've seen our work everywhere. For a combined 50 years, Sign Source has been Central Alabama's premier option for all your sign needs. Custom signs for your business club or organization, wraps and decals for your vehicle or boat, full color banners for your big sale, or a photo collage on canvas for grandma, all with fast, friendly, prompt service. 
Check out our website at sandsourcenow.com. 888-533-6758. Go straight to the source. Science Source.